is going on YouTube Shabam! Let's try something new. I don't know. Recently, a subscriber asked a really interesting question. Hey, my dude, I was wondering how you felt about kids being really spoiled nowadays. Do I believe that kids are spoiled nowadays? Hell yes, I do. You know they be walking around having shit like oxygen? <laughs> well, since y'all asked, y'all shall receive. Y'all already know what it is. LGI sub, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. It's 2012, and you motherfucking kids are spoiled as fuck. That's right, I'm talking to you, kid. You spoiled as hell. But guess what? I don't blame you. I blame your parents. That's right, parents. I'm pointing my pudgy ass finger at all your bad parents out there. Uh, to my knowledge, most children don't have jobs, which means they don't have money, which means that they don't have control of what they possess. So what they have is basically what is given to them. A few weeks ago, I shit you not, I saw this five or six year old carry a cell phone. What the fuck do you need a cell phone for, baby? What the hell is going on in your life at the age of five that you need to contact somebody immediately? Hey dog, guess what? I shit myself again. Why the hell do kids get so much shit for their birthday nowadays? Do you know what I got for my birthday growing up? I got life, bitch, life. That was shit that I already had. Happy birthday, David. You get to leave another year. More importantly, just throwing shit at your kids just to shut them up. What you should do is teach them the value of a dollar. Do you realize what would happen if I had a six-year-old that told me that they needed an eye touch? Daddy, I want an eye touch. A word. What was that? You want an eye touch? Keep it up. You about to get an eye. Don't get shit for Christmas. Do you know what happens to spoiled kids? Y'all don't learn shit. Newsflash, little bitch. Most kids do not get what they want the moment they ask for it. You know what's gonna happen to you? You're gonna go into the real world and start to realize that, oh shit, I gotta buy shit with my own money? When I was a kid and I wanted something, I had to go work at my parents' beauty supply store. And I believe that everything I hustled for had that much more value in it because I earned it. I can't believe I sold weaves as a living. What the hell? See, I believe what really makes somebody spoiled is more along the lines of if they're really unappreciative of their position in life and how they carry themselves. In all seriousness, since we're going to go ahead and talk about the subject, I'm going to go ahead and share a little bit of peace about my life with y'all. When I was a kid, I grew up broke, period, in the story. Uh, when we first opened up our business, I remember we couldn't even afford shelves to put the supplies on uh, that we wanted to sell. They were all on cardboard boxes. But here's the funny thing, despite my economic status, I never really thought I was poor. And this is the reason why I think my parents are so amazing. You see, what my parents did was made sure that I believed that I had everything that I needed and what I had was already more than enough. Here's the thing, my parents couldn't buy me the best toys and gadgets, but at the end of the day, the values that they instilled in me are worth a million times more than anything they could have bought me as a child. So all you kids out there that are fortunate to have all the things that you want, be appreciative of it and make use of it. And for your parents, step up the game because we all know that you work hard for your money and family. Just make sure that your kids know it too. Well, all right. yeah. Money in my pocket, pocket. Yeah. Money on the floor, on the floor, on the floor. I love the way she drop it, drop it. Yeah. Throw it till it's no more, no more, no more. Throw it till it's no more, no more, no yeah. more. Throw it till it's no more, no more, no more. Money in my pocket, yeah. you where we at? We on the top floor, top yeah. floor. Hey, y'all, checking in. If y'all want to see McDonald's spokesman in China, you have it right here. <laughs> Bam. But you gonna wear yellow.